Right? Huh? Amy! We should wait. No. She'll just be right here. Sheena and Laura are going to be. Okay. That's okay too. All right. Starting on the left foot only. Um, both hands go down to the ground. Walk the hands out to a plank. Drop the hips, chin up to the ceiling, eyes up to the ceiling. Shift the weight back to the heels. So you go into this like single leg downward dog. Not what Jason's doing. And then walk the hands back to the foot and stand up slowly. So we'll do five of those. All five on the left. Hands go down to the ground. Walk the hands out. Drop the hips. Chin up to the ceiling. Eyes up to the ceiling. Shift the weight back to the heels. Stretch out the back of the left leg. And then walk the hands back to the left foot and stand up slow. All right, three more on that side. Not that dark. I could have worn brighter colors. I always wear black for these. Drop the hips, chin up to the ceiling. Drive the heel down to the ground, stretch at the back of the leg. Then walk the hand back to the left foot, stand up slow. How many more? Jason, two, two more. Nice job, Molly. Yeah. Hips down, chin up, eyes up. Heel roots down to the ground, stretch at the hamstring. <laughs> Okay, one more. Drop the hips, chin up, eyes up, shift the weight back. All right, before you switch sides, staying on that left leg, arms are gonna go straight out in front, so my palms are just together. Reverse lunge, so the right leg goes back behind you, eyes go up, stretch back out, come back up to balance. So from the side, you're here. Reverse lunge, and then back up to balance. Go through five of those. Reverse lunge, open up the chest, knee can go down to the ground or just hover off the ground, whatever feels better. All right, five of those. It should feel like a big stretch in the front of the hip of the leg that's going back behind you, so that right side. All right, we'll go through those same two things on the other side. So now you're on your right foot. Chin to the chest, roll down slowly, walk the hands out, drop the hips, chin up, eyes up, shift the weight back to the heel. Walk the hands back to the right foot. Stand up slowly. Head's the last thing to go up. Head's the first thing to lead on the way down. Drop the hips. Chin up. Eyes up. Stretch out the back of the leg. This should just all feel fairly fluid. Like one you can go right into the next. Chin to the chest. Do you know what Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have one. All right, two more though. You're doing five of these guys. Drop the hips, chin up, eyes up. All right, and then palms together in front of you. You're balancing on that right foot. Reverse lunge with the left leg. Reach the fingertips back up and over the head. Go through five of those. All right, two more. Last one. All right, new combo. So starting on the left foot, again, chin to the chest, walk the hands out. You're gonna go into a single push up, push up, and then walk the hands back to that left foot, stand up slowly. Five of those. <laughs> Molly, you're like a speed bump. Push up, walk the hands back, stand up slowly. Three more. She's so tired. <laughs> Two more. See if you have normal furniture, we wouldn't be able to do that. Exactly. <laughs> Let's pretend it's magic. Yeah. Oh, this is your spare room. <laughs> Last one. All right, so staying on that left foot, go palms out in front, barely tuck that right leg when you do a reverse lunge, and twist left. 
Back up to neutral, fingertips pointing forward. So from the side, you're here, twist, balance. Twist. All right, five of those. I feel like I have backup dancers. That's so important. <laughs> All right, so the same two things on the other side. So now you're balancing on that right foot, chin to the chest, roll down, walk the hands out, single push up, walk the hands back to that right foot, stand up slowly. Four more. <laughs> Job. Three to go. Nice. Two more. Good job, Molly. Didn't get home in time to do this. I'm like, I can do it here. Last one. I need it. <laughs> All right, arms straight out in front of you, so palms are together, just barely tucking that left leg and twisting to the right. Back up to neutral, twist. All right, five of those. Last one, and then we'll start a new combo. All right, so back to balancing on the left leg. So the same kind of thing, two things on the left, two things on the right. A little bit in that left knee, chin to the chest, roll down, walk out to a plank. This time bring the right foot up next to that left hand. Uh, right foot up to the right hand, whatever hand that is. And then go arms straight up and over the head. Hands come back down, pick up that right foot, walk the hands back to the left foot, stand up slowly. So go through five of those. Chin to the chest, roll down, walk the hands out to a plank, right foot steps wide, arms reach up and over the head, open up the chest, pick up that right foot and leave it up, walk the hands back to the left foot, stand up. It's good. It's like good. Mm -hmm. Three more. <laughs> Two more. Wide steps, which should feel like a big dramatic stretch in the front of that left hip. <laughs> Last one. Wide step. Reach up and over, and then walk back to that left foot. Stand up straight. Okay, this time go arms over the head. So you're in this like streamlined position. Biceps to the ears, curtsy lunge with that right leg, and lean to the left. So you're trying to make this big like crescent from the tips of the fingertip to the right toes, and just stretching out that right rib cage. Two more. Last one. Nice job. All right, those same two things on the other side. Fresh leg, balance on that right foot, chin to the chest, roll down slowly, walk the hands out to a plank, wide step with that left foot, arms come up and over the head, hands back down, leave that left foot up, Root the right foot down and stand up slowly. Four more. Big wide steps, sink down into it. Exhale, arch the back. <laughs> Just like, must see, Checking. must see what's going on. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Three more. See if you can just fluidly connect one thing to the next. So there's no start and stop to one move. You're already kind of starting that next little, little movement before you finish the last. <laughs> Is that our last one? 
Yes. <laughs> I think, right, Jason? That was four. No, you did one behind us. I caught up to you. <laughs> we have one more? One more. Jason says we have one more. We can go back and look at the footage. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually prove that one right or wrong. Yeah, nice job. Turn for that, right? Yeah. All right, then go biceps to the ears. So that streamlined position. Curtsy lunge, lean back up to neutral balance. Curtsy lunge, lean. Five of those. Are you a dancer? Uh -huh. Kind of. <laughs> I thought I was. Nice job. Okay, so switching it up and going posterior chain um, in this like isometric hold. So balancing on the left leg, drop the chest and send the right leg straight back behind you. So you're just kind of making this T. Right fingertips down to the ground, left fingertips up, and then just switch. Switch. All right, so five each way or 10 total. So balance on that left leg. Drop down, one arm up, one arm down. Like big helicopter arms. 10 total. Do we have a question? How can I see questions? Oh no, Jen. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ramona is saying that you are cute, Molly. Nice, and you'll do the same on the other side. We're not gonna do two on one side, two on the other. You can keep eyes down on the ground. Kind of helps. All right, when you're done there, back to balancing on the left leg. These are kind of funky. So you're gonna go hands down onto the ground and you're trying to get that whole foot up off the ground or just the heel. And then come back up, all right? We're doing a lot of this kind of hinge move. Only five of these. Little jump with a flat foot, all the way back up to neutral. Stand up, stack the shoulders over the hips. Little jump. Five on one side, five on the other side. We're gonna go back to those helicopter arms and then we're gonna change the direction of where you're looking. So just kind of like a light vision drill. Same thing on that right side, hands down, little jump, stand up slowly. Five of these. She can stand. She's fine. All right, five on that right side. <laughs> Which side is your better side? Not a left side. I'm looking at it. No. I always do one of the first, so it makes me think that it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're done with those, we're going to go back to the left leg, and you're going to go back to that dropped chest, but you're going to look at the common side. So if you're on the left leg, you're going to turn the eyes to the left and try to keep them there. So find something that you can see. And then you're gonna to try to do these same helicopter arms, but with the vision to the left rather than on the ground. Ooh, it's so much harder for me. I feel like I just go faster to get through them. Yeah. <laughs> really, uh-uh. All right, so you can think on that other side whenever you're ready. At your own pace, just drop the chest down into that stretch. Eyes to the right. One hand down, one hand up. <laughs> nice job. All right, when you're done there, super wide stance for the legs. Just bend the left knee and turn, rotate the toes to come up and sink down onto that left leg. And then come all the way back up, foot plants back to flat. So just that left side, back to neutral. Go through 10 of those. Yeah. No balance, no vision. Just a little side squat. Oh. 
why does she get to be in the video? All right, 10 of those guys. And then before you switch, come down to that, to that stretch, hands down to the ground, and just straighten and bend that left side. You can put the right foot flat if that feels better. Just trying to bend and straighten 10 times that left knee. No? <laughs> and then same thing on the other side. Bend the knee, drop the chest, toe comes up towards the ceiling, and then rotate it back around for the foot to come down flat. Ten of those. Oh, <laughs> must be in a little girl's playroom. We don't have much glitter in our lives. I still like glitter. All right, and then after those 10, stay hinged over. Just bend and straighten that right knee 10 times. All right, when you're done with that, you get to lay down. You get a little break. Yes. So lay down, get comfy. Legs straight out, arms straight up and over the head. So we'll start with the hardest and go to easiest and then finish back with hardest. So alternating single leg V ups. So go right leg, left leg. Five on each side, 10 total. All right, and then go hands behind the back, feet are hovering, and you're just doing this pipe, extend, pipe, extend. Go through 10 of those. So you're leaning way back, hands are behind the back, pike up, drop the legs. 10. And then we'll go through a bent knee variation of both of those. So lay down, legs extended. This time, rather than having arms with the head, fingertips are pointing towards the toes. Alternate, one knee tucks in, extend. Other knee tucks in, extend. So 10 of these, five on each side. Really? Uh -uh. Oh, it's torture. All right, then you're going to go hands back behind the back, knees tucked in, extend, knees tucked, extend, knees tucked. Extend knees. We can put them outside too. You don't need to be in here, girl. All right, and then go back through those first two that we did. So legs straight out, arms straight out, alternate single leg pike for 10. And then finish with the hardest one, legs straight out, lean back, pipe up, drop everything flat. Ten of those. Really. I'm gonna put more on All right. When you're <laughs> like, no, it's very comfy. All right, then go hands down, drop the hips, arch the back. It should feel good. <laughs> Like, what did I do wrong? You must play. All right, then bring the chest down to the ground, pick up the right leg, and just open up the front of the hip. This is why I signed up right here. <laughs> All the stretches. Oh my god. And then back to neutral. Why am I here? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, 
like this is where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to sweep. And then left over for some days. Oh. All right, then come up into bent knee plank. So knees are just hovering an inch off the ground. Rotate the lower half of the body so you can tap the left knee down. Twist, tap the right knee down. Go through 10 of those, five on each side. And then from there, bring the hands in close together. Keeping the eyes on the ground, reach the right arm up. Switch, reach the left arm up, switch. 10 total, five on each side. Knees should be bent. That 90 degree angle, knees stay stacked underneath the hips. All right, then back to those rotations. You can go back to arms wide, wrists are underneath the shoulders. This time when you twist, just extend that bottom leg. Twist. Extend the bottom leg. Twist, extend. Twist, extend. So you should feel that like lower back, obliques are responsible for holding you still. Or you extend the leg. And then go <laughs> keep that bent knee pose. Hands come together. This time eyes go up to the ceiling with the fingers. Last time for these. But you should feel it in the quads, just holding that pose. Ten total, five on each side. And then back to wrist, stacked underneath the shoulders. This time you're going to step the left leg through, pick up the right hand, and just reach up and over the head. Stretch, and then come back to where you were. Step the right foot through, reach the left hand up, stretch. Five on each side, 10 total. It's been fun to have the girl here with us. I know. <laughs> And then you can just end up sitting down on the hips, feet flat, hands back behind you. Pull the legs over to the right and try to just like push that hip forward. So you're trying to get a stretch in the front of the hip, flop the legs to the other side, stretch. Go through that two times each way. And then when you flop the legs over to the right, pick up the left hand and reach around. And I'm just trying to like crawl the fingers forward to get a stretch in the lat. Forehead comes down to the ground. Come out of it slowly. Same thing on the other side. So do those twice to each side. Pick up the hand that you're twisting away from. Crawl the fingers forward. Forehead comes down to the ground. One more time on each side. Flop the legs over. Reach around. Same thing last time. Okay, last variation. When you fold the hips over the right side, pick up the left hand, but also pick up the hips and bring the left bicep to the left ear. So you're doing this big arch up and over. Lastly, we're doing two of these on each side. Lift the hips, reach up and over. Last time. I guess we have no idea if this is going through. Probably know it glitched a long time ago. <laughs> They're all texting me, I can't see you, I can't hear you. All right, that's it. Sorry we were in the dark. We have no power. Thanks everyone. Bye guys.